Hi guys, good to have you back. It is Friday and I finally have the time to use Michelle's uh, beautiful freebies from a junk journal studio. But first let me introduce myself to all my new viewers. Hello, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling and treasure hunting and such. Some of you may know that I am on Michelle's design team. I love her digitals. Um, she is junk, the junk journal studio. She has a YouTube channel, a Facebook group and an Etsy shop. I will link all three below. Yep, these are freebies on her Facebook group. If you have a printer and like to um, well, craft along with me, you can go there now, download them and print them. And we're going to make something very simple with it. What I want to do is do something for the beginners. I've noticed there are a lot of beginners out there and I want to do something especially for you guys because I was a, a beginner not that long ago. Uh, and also, if you're not a beginner, you're going to have fun anyway. You're going to have fun anyway. So what I want to do, I have a prototype. I want to make envelopes. Envelopes with a pocket on the back. Yes, it's going to be very straightforward. You don't need a lot of tools for this. I, uh, this. I am, however, using some... You know, craft supplies that I find very handy to have. But I'm not going to do any die cutting or embossing or special things. Just basic tools. Basic tools like glue. I'm using art glitter glue for this uh, because it provides a very small line of glue. That's why I'm using this. You can use glue stick. Uh, of course, scissors or a paper cutter. I am using a circle punch to make these some sort of uh, thumb notches. Yes, if you don't have a circle punch, you can just cut them. Uh, and then I'm using a corner rounder to, well, round the corners. If you don't have a corner rounder, you can snip it and make them in some sort of an angle. Or maybe you're very good with scissors. Then I'm going to be inking all around them um, and adding some bits and bobs to them. Yeah, so what you need is paper, glue, scissors. That's it. I have printed these out double-sided. Let me show them because they are gorgeous, right? I was very inspired by the bows on here. Um, and they look lovely on the flap of an envelope. That's why I'm making the envelopes. So she has this one. This is actually freebie number four for the Summer's Bounty Kit. There are a couple of other ones. Well, if you're there, download the other ones as well because they're gorgeous. Uh, and this one in green, also lovely. And then a very neutral one. A beautiful collage what i did i backed all of them with a neutral collage and the neutral collage i backed with the bows i want to make um three envelopes with you guys using this i will give you some measurements if i print these out i cannot print this borderless otherwise i will lose a little bit of the design on there because my measurements a4 is a little bit different, I guess, than what Michelle's measurements are. But let me tell you my measurements. These are 10 and a half by 8. Yeah. Have them 10 and a half by 8. If they're a little bit uh, bigger or smaller, no matter. Because we're going to divide them sort of in the middle-ish. So it's going to be fine. So what I want to do is cut these down. I'm going to cut this down in half and I'm going to cut this down in half for now. Maybe the last one, but don't know yet. Let's start with two. So no matter what size your paper is now, it could be a little bit taller or smaller. You just fold this in half to see where the middle is. I find this a very fast, handy, easy way to find the middle. There you go. And then you cut it in the middle. You can use your scissors, a ruler and a knife or a paper cutter. I'm going to use a paper cutter. There we go. Oh, let's, let's do the last one. It's going to be easy and simple. So I think we have time for the last one as well. There you go. You can use uh, book pages for this, other digitals magazine pages encyclopedia pages whatever paper you have don't make them a very thin paper like tissue paper kind it, it needs to be a little bit sturdier great so i'm gonna cut this in half this one and this one 
So let's do that first. I have a paper cutter. You might have, you know, a ruler and a knife or scissors. Whatever tickles your fancy. Is this in the middle? Hopefully it is. Well, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Doesn't really matter though. Keep, because we can trim it later. And the last one. I'm sorry, I'm not totally in frame. Aren't these wonderful? I love it. I'm going to be decorating guys with uh, pieces of the Summer's Bounty Kit. So if you have purchased that one, take your bits and bobs out. If you are not one that is going to buy anything on Etsy, but can print stuff out. Um, Michelle also has freebies uh, of the Summer's Bounty Kit with some ephemera pieces, labels and such. So, Okay, so we have the one with the bows, the one in green and the neutral ones the measurements now are five and a bit by eight they are too tall because I'm, i want to take a little piece off about two and a half inches but you have to make a decision what you want to have on the flap i absolutely love these so for sure i want to keep this so if i, if I want to make it short i'm not going to cut this off but a piece of the top so for this one, I know for sure, I want to cut a piece of the top. Then for the green ones, uh, I think I want this to be on the flap. Because I love labels. That's why I'm taking this one. So I'm going to take a little piece off of here. And then for this one, I want this to be on the flap. So I'm taking a little bit off the top here. So I'm taking my three pieces with uh, where the flaps are going to be, yeah? So what I want to do is for the pages that are eight, I am taking off two and a half inches. It doesn't really matter um, how much you take off, as long as you keep like two thirds, it needs to be almost a square. You can use a square for this easily. But I just want to use these pages, and that's why I'm just taking off two and a half at the top. At the top, that's one. That's why I love this paper trimmer, it's all in inches. Quick, simple, light, love this one. Don't have a link, it is from Tonic Studios. I am no way throwing out these. No, because these will make lovely sort of cards that you can maybe put in there. So now all of these, all these three are the flaps, the top parts. So it's going to be this part and the, the bit that is going in between here. Yes. What I want to do is sort of measure out how long I want my flap to be. Don't have them. You can have them in the middle, but no further than the middle. Yeah. So I'm just going to fold this. I think I want my flap to be this big. And it doesn't really matter if this is a little bit shorter or taller, just have them in any size that you want. This one as well, maybe I want this one to be a little bit longer because I want the labels to be on here. See this one? is already a little bit longer doesn't really matter as long as the bottom part is longer than the top part and the birdies there you go so these are the top parts the flaps so what I'm going to do now is absolutely optional. I will do this one without my corner punch. I'm a uh, corner rounder. I'm using my corner rounder in the biggest setting because I want the flaps to be rounded. Let me 
go. You don't need to cut these. No need. So what happens if you don't have a corner rounder? You do this, you take your scissors. Yes, or you leave them straight. You could also leave them straight. And I'm just gonna snip off a tiny bit, just a small corner over here. Yes, I'm gonna flip that corner around like so. Use it as a sort of a guideline and then snip this one as well. So now you have two snippies, see? And these are rounded. Let's do the bottom parts. The bottom parts I'm going to do a little bit different than my prototype. If you can see here, the flap is much bigger than the part on the bottom. It doesn't really matter because it still functions, but I want this to be a little bit more in proportion. So the measurements for this one are two and a half uh, by two and a half. I just folded these in the middle. And that is basically the way I always make them. But I wanted it to be a little bit different now. So if you have square pieces, just fold them in half, both of them. And then do this whole bit. Uh, but I wanted them to be a little bit taller. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do the one with the... Where are you? The beautiful bows first. Now this paper is directional. Yeah. Uh, I don't really mind that. So if you fold this over, this will be straight up. And this will be upside down. Yeah. I don't mind that. If you do, use paper that is not directional. So I want this to be the front of the envelope. Fold it over. And this to be the back. But I don't want it this long. So I am again going to take a little piece off. Not as much as the top flap. I think I just want to cut off the bow. Even though the bow is the prettiest thing on here. <laughs> I'm going to cut off two inches. Like so. Keeping this because this will make a great pocket in your journal. What am I going to do with this one? Where my green, where's my green one? Yes, I want this to be the front because I really want this lady to be on here. Then go all the way around. Yep, so I need to lose a bit of this last bit. So first check. Uh, what you want to have on the front. All the way around, lovely. There you go. Hopefully it all still makes sense. I'm probably doing it way more difficult than is necessary. There. And then for the neutral one. That's this one. I do want to have the butterfly on here. Let's see if that will work. It won't. That's too bad. Can we have it on the on the back? Yes, it's going to be upside down on the back. But that's okay. So I'm taking a piece of here. A little bit more. There you go. Keeping all the pieces. The bottom pieces are going to be very straightforward. I'm just going to fold them in, in half. Like so. And there you go. Now, if we, if we pair them up with our top parts, they might differ slightly well this is actually a really good size but it could happen that your top and your bottom part are not the exact same size well it happened to me once so no they are if they are not if you see a little bit poking out just trim it Yes, you can use your paper trimmer, a scissors or a ruler and a knife because I really want these to be the exact same size. 
Okay, now next part again is optional. What I want to do is make a sort of thumb notch, as they call it. Yes, this to indicate that there's a pocket and you can get to the stuff that's in, in here ease, more easily. Um, I am using my circle punch for this. I have this is a one and a half circle punch. I'm just folding them in because I want them to be on the exact same spot. Not necessary at all because you won't even see it. I'm always eyeballing this. Sometimes my eyeballing is really good and sometimes it's really rubbish. As it was on this one because this, not the middle. Yeah. I'm doing this on all three. If you don't have a circle punch and you want to have this, use something round as a template, draw all around it and um, then you cut it with scissors. That's what I used to do. But now I have these and uh, that really saves on time. Great. For the construction, I first want to ink them. Again, optional, not necessary at all. I'm just gonna do one, guys. Mm, let's do this one. For this one, I'm using a walnut stain. That's my go-to color, but you can use anything you like. I think most people have vintage photo. I think for me, vintage photo is a little bit too orangey. So I am inking all around the bottom part. Doesn't need any inking on the inside. All around. And then for the top part, I am inking the flap. Like so. The top of the flap. And then the back. And the sides, you don't have to ink it all the way to the end. And you don't have to ink this bit. Hello, birds. <laughs> Maybe you can hear them. It's a flock of birds. Okay, now what I like to do, totally not necessary, is when you open the envelope up. Oh, the lovely bow is in here. That's a pleasant surprise. I want to ink the inside as well. I just, you know, like that effect. And then I even want this crease that I'm going to gently fold to be inked. There you go. I'm going to do that on all three envelopes. And now they look like this. So we need to glue them down. Um, I'm going to do the most difficult one first. Why is this difficult? These have the rounded um, edges, corners, and these have the slanted corners, which makes this part smaller than, say, this part. See, there's a lot of difference between these two. So we have to take that into consideration when we glue them down. Okay, it is very simple. You're going to put this, the larger piece, the flap, inside the other envelope. And then you glue it down on some on some parts so that you have a pocket on the back now you can have this all the way to the top wouldn't recommend it you can have it a little bit lower and you know smaller envelope bigger envelope but with the slanted corners if you move it to the bottom then what will happen is that at one point you will see where the bottom part starts and we don't want that well i don't want that so i need to be sure that this slides in so you don't see it like so yeah so this is the only one where i'm going to do a little bit of measuring well not even measuring just marking it so i want my envelope to be this tall I'm going to scooch it in a little bit more, like so, so that you won't see these um, opening edges. Yeah, 
keep keeping it down folding it open carefully and i'm making a mark here where the 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 top piece ends just making a mark you won't be able able to see it i'm just drawing a quick line right okay now we can remove this part taking off my glue i have art glitter glue if you have any other glue um, that will glue a small strip please use that one you can use um normal glue stick for this but then uh, have a small strip that's and you can also use glue tape if you want to i don't prefer that so what i'm gonna do i'm going to glue a line here all the way to the crease yes and on the other side just a small line because our glitter glue glues very very well then i'm going to attach this but i'm going to attach it up until the line that we drew yeah like so line them up really well i'm just gonna check yep they're lined up and then i'm going to take my glue again and i'm going to glue this part a line here and the line there and then I'm going to fold it over like so et voila you have an envelope with a pocket on the back it is simple I'm making it hard for you guys because what I needed to do was trim the pieces of paper to a size that we could work with if you have uh, let me quickly get something to show you. For instance, a paper pad like this, a 6x6. Six six. Yep, these are square. And square papers work the best for this. So just fold them in, both of them, and then make this. Very, very easy. I just made it really hard on myself and you guys because I really wanted to use the beautiful papers and I want to sort of position what I wanted to show on the envelope and what I didn't. But, you know, that's okay. This one is rather simple. I am just going to put glue on one side here. I didn't need to measure where the flap would be. I'm going to do that when I put it in. There you go. I'm going to have this one a little bit taller than the other one, I guess. Yep. I'm just checking if this was the right one. You could glue this down, no, not necessary at all. You're gluing on your mat, love, I know. Quick. Okay. And then, gluing it shut. I did not ink the inside. And the last one. Gluing here. almost like mass making and here putting this one in leaving a bit of room on the bottom yes and then gluing these bits There they are for the decorating part uh, as i mentioned i have taken out some of the summer's bounty femora, uh, femora pieces these are the very small ones love them then i have a whole box of labels again summer's bounty kit and then my favorite ones from the kit that i've printed again and again in different sizes if you don't have this if you have the summer's bounty kit take out what you still have left probably a lot because the kit is huge um if you don't have the kit but you did uh, print the freebies there are some 
small uh, ephemera pieces and labels and such in other freebies that correspond to this kit. And otherwise, take out your bits and bobs. Let's start decorating. This is probably the easiest one to decorate because it's the most neutral one. Yes. Um, and I'm also thinking about adding something to the flap that will um, make it a little bit heavier so that it will maybe close a little bit better. Doesn't really need to be, but maybe, you know, a small sort of tap table thingy. Whatever. Let's start on the back. There's a butterfly here. I have some butterflies um, in the kit, I believe. I have this one. I have this with a butterfly. I think I want to add some butterflies on here. And this one. So cute, right? Yeah. Yes. Love it. Yeah, that those are, are those are it. What am I going to do? Add a little bit of color here. I think I want to do this. Just to add a pop, pop of color. And if we're gonna do that, I want to have some more red on here as well. Like probably this one. But I'm making a decision gluing this one down and while i'm decorating guys um i need to tell you that this is not my original idea yes uh, because i did these during my 100 day project um and apparently julie from camellia craft designs also did them months before that and i love julie uh, but I probably haven't seen every video she made. And also, if she did, uh, I, ca I cannot remember everything. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. And then somebody commented that I should give Julie credit. And uh, uh, I just started my channel and it really scared me. I was very upset by that. And I contacted Julie. We weren't in contact uh, at that time. So I was very sort of nervous and Julie, bless her, bless you, Julie. Julie said, oh my dear, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Don't pay any attention. Of course not. And uh, it's quite all right. And it happened to me as well. And so, yeah, we, you know, there's only so many times that you can fold a piece of paper and glue it down. You're bound to be do something that other people have done before. Yeah. Do you want a number? So yeah, I'm sort of uh, rambling about it, but I just wanted to be sure um, and tell, uh, tell you people again. Uh, yeah, some things, sometimes I think this is my idea. I've never seen it before. And then somebody else did it before me. That happens, you know. I'm going to do very something very simple, I think, on this back. Or maybe a little bit bigger label. Oh yeah, that looks much better, of course. I'm going to ink it. So that's sort of a disclaimer. Yes, if you think, oh, I've, I've seen you made it before, make it before. Yes, that, that's correct. I did make them before. Uh, maybe I'll even sort of uh, put the video on there. Oh, let's. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Yes, if you click here, it will redirect you to the video of the original um What's my call it? Envelope making. Envelope making, love. Yeah. It was a really popular video as well at that time. Yes, mind you, I was doing uh, um, YouTube for just a couple of weeks. And I was still so nervous. I still am. I'm not going to say it out loud, but I still am nervous sometimes. Really? Yes, really. Great. It looks great. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like so for now. Then the green one. Um, let's see. I, I so love this one. Isn't that cute? But I think it's a bit much. No, I'm not going to cover this beautiful lady. I do like it. Shall we have it on the back? Is it too busy? Yes. But we don't care. Well, I don't. There you go. So I actually need to thank the person that uh, told me to, uh, well, 
it's Julie's project and uh, because that's how I came in contact with uh, with the lovely Julie and um, yeah I'm very happy about that it needs a label don't you think maybe one with more green it's a little bit too big I'm gonna scooch it in do I have one that is smaller yes I do see I printed them in all sizes yes There you go. What are we going to do on the front? I don't know. It already has lots of labels. To on a chicken. Oh, I'm sorry. The I just I just noticed the light from the garden is, is is shining through. I'm sorry. I'm I'm afraid I cannot fix it. I will try. Sorry guys, I can't fix it. It is uh, the roof, the lighting from the roof. So I scooched it in like over here. So. <laughs> So hopefully um, it won't bother you a lot. I'm going to have the chicken on. Yeah. Because I feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's an old commercial. Do you have that where you are? Chicken, the chicken tonight brand. Cute, right? Need something here. What? Another label? Oh, are you telling me another label? Or um, I have these also these numbers. Or we could do like the the tab thingy that you told us about, Margaret. Yeah, I think I want to do some sort of a tab closure thingy. I do want to have number fourteen on here. And there you go. Over here on the bottom. And um, there are these two sort of tickets in here. This one is, I think, too big. This one will work fine, I guess. And now we can do two things. We can just glue this on so that, can, that, that you can pick it up and open it up. Or we could use the small Velcro dots. I'm going to do the latter, yeah? But it's white on the other side. So I'm just going to distress it. With some ink. Yeah. And because I'm going to pull it now and then, I'm going to attach the, this with some art glitter glue. Because that's a much heavier glue. It secures much better. See? Or we could leave it like this. I'm gonna leave it like this. Why not? Great. The one with the bow. The one with the bow. Um, I have these. Norman Factory tomato sauce. Yes, I have two. I have also have a smaller one. Yeah. So I think I'm not gonna do much to this. No, because it's already so lovely. So I think I'm gonna do just the Norman tomato sauce over here on this beautiful label. This one, that is basically uh, this green one in red. But I don't have them in red. Michelle, why? <laughs> I love these. Make them in red, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have this over here. There you go. Very simple decorating. Because these papers are already so, so beautiful. It doesn't need a lot. And I think I'm going to have the big one here. But then sort of back it with this label. And I have the number 8. Make a small collage here. Why not? It really doesn't need to be decorated. But you know. I just love to do it. These are just ready to go. I 
manufactured at the Bowen Bridge Road in Brisbane. That's in Australia, right? Am I? My, or New Zealand? No, at least down under. Or am I absolutely mistaken? I know there's somebody who's going to let me know. Jan. Jan is going to let me know. Like so. Yeah. One more piece of decorating. I want something here. Because. Because we can. No, I do not want something here. Because it's already done. But I need to bring back the green here. Because love it. What was on the front? Something red. Uh, we could do this. Or that was tomatoes on here, right? Do we have anything that sort of has anything to do with tomatoes? Probably not. There's also a smaller one. Or this one. Because there's a lot of red in here. Yeah. <laughs> What are we doing? We're doing this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Changed my mind again. I just want to put labels everywhere I can. Perfect. This has such a closure. I'm changing my mind yet again. I am going to add um, the Velcro dots. Keep them closed, yeah, because I have a gazillion of them. Also, uh, a lovely subscriber, I am sorry I can I forgot who it was, but thank you so much. Told me that you can also get these at Dollar Tree, AliExpress, Amazon, and Dollar Tree. As usual, I am putting the woolly bits on the part that we hardly won't see. There you go, and then the clear bit on the other side. See? Now it stays shut. And with this one, I'm going to do it on the inside of this sort of tab. Woolly bit on the tab. There you go. Oops, and then this goes here. I'm sorry. I needed to reposition. Is the sun gone? Almost. It's because I'm filming later in the day than I normally do. Normally I do it in the mornings. But I had a lot of stuff to do. So I decided to do it a little bit later in the day. There you go. See? Now they close. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. Let's start with this one. This is basically the inspiration for this project. I really wanted to make an envelope with this on the top. Um, yeah, and the fact that I wanted to do something for beginners. Something very quick and easy that you could practice all weekend long. Yeah. So I love this one. Uh, with the tomato on here and on the back we have another pocket yes and then of course the envelope on the inside with a big label the green one with the rooster on it love this idea like so and then again a big pocket on the back and the neutral one with the butterfly very pretty big label again on the inside another pocket and i didn't touch this one yeah love them i hope you guys were crafting along with me using michelle's freebies again i will link everything below michelle is from the junk journal studio she has a youtube channel linking it below go visit her subscribe to her say hi from me she has a facebook group where she offers all these beautiful freebies linking it below and then she has an etsy shop 
that has so many beautiful digitals. Uh, I must be honest, my absolute favorite is this one. Quick disclaimer, I am on Michelle's design uh, team, but I do not get any commission or anything. I just, you know, I love her. I love you, Michelle. And um, I think you'll like it as well. So guys, uh, Friday, which means um, the weekend is here and I won't be filming. So I'll be back on Monday. No clue what we're going to do uh, next week. I want to do something with the Horse Lovers Kit. That's also on the um, Etsy shop. Uh, and the uh, Rolodex ABC for sure. And then maybe another experiment. Who knows? Guys, thank you for hanging out with me um, today. If you miss me during the weekend, just put on one of my playlists. I'm going to put this one in the beginner junk journal and in the envelope one. So see you all on Monday. Bye.